a man bought mangoes at the rate of 9 for rupees 35 and sold them at the rate of 10 for rupees 55 how many mangoes should he sell to earn a net profit of rupees 58 see what are they saying um, see he's uh, he's buying mangoes at a rate of 9 for rupees 35 correct so 9 mangoes he is buying it for 35 rupees and what is he doing uh, he is selling uh, 10 for rupees 55 so 10 mangoes he is selling it for 55 rupees now the question is how many mangoes should he sell in order to earn a net profit of rupees 58 see uh, generally how we go about solving it we first find out uh, what is the cost price of one mango correct that is 35 uh, see he is getting 9 mangoes for 35 rupees so I will say the cost price of one mango is 35 by 9 similarly the cost pr selling price of one mango is 55 by 10 correct because he is selling uh, 10 mangoes for 55 rupees again uh, now then what do you do so you get the cost price of one mango selling price of one mango find the difference find out the profit he makes in one mango and then see to get a profit of rupees 58 how many mangoes he has to sell but if we uh, generally that is the way uh, all of us would approach it correct when we directly see this question that is the first thing that goes to our mind but whenever such question comes what, uh, see what we have to remember here is that here he bought nine mangoes here he is selling 10 mangoes and there are a lot of fractions involved so let us try to reduce uh, this fraction and try to solve this question in a slightly different way let us try to take the values a bit differently so that we are able to arrive at the answer faster okay see we know nine mangoes are bought for 35 rupees and 10 mangoes uh, are uh, sold for uh, how many rupees 55 rupees so here you have nine and ten now if i multiply this by ten the first equation right by ten what can i say I, I, I can say that I am buying 90 mangoes for 350 rupees. Similarly, if I multiply the second equation by 9, that is the left hand side and the right hand side, I can say that I am buying, I am selling 90 mangoes for, so 55 into 9 is going to be 495. So what can I say? I can say that I have bought uh, 90 mangoes for 350 and I am selling this 90 mangoes for 495. Okay, so see uh, what I did was, here we we have 9 mangoes right cost price of 9 mangoes and we have the selling price of 10 mangoes so to make the number of mangoes equal so that the calculations become easier what I did was the first equation right I multiplied it by 10 so I get the cost price of 90 mangoes here I have got the selling price of 90 mangoes so what is the profit that I am making in this 90 mangoes it is nothing but 495 minus 350 correct 495 minus 350 is the profit that I am getting for the 90 mangoes right and you know that is equal to 145 so this is the profit that i get in 90 mangoes so what is the profit that i'll get for one mango it will be 145 by 90 correct for 90 mangoes i am getting a profit of 145 so for one mango i am getting a profit of 145 by 90 now the question is how many mangoes should he sell to earn a profit of 58 how many mangoes should he sell let us assume that he has to sell x mangoes so when he sells x mangoes where profit of one mango is 145 by 90 he has to get a profit of 58 rupees find the value of x that's what they are asking correct so x is equal to 58 into 90 by 145 so if you actually uh, solve this you will get the answer as 36 Okay, a lot of you are giving me the correct answer. Correct, 90 for 90, the profit is 145. For how much the profit is? 58. That's all you have to find out, right? See, for 90 mangoes, you are getting a profit of 145 rupees, correct? So, for how many mangoes will you get a profit of 58? You can directly cross multiply here also. You needn't even write this step, okay? I just wrote it so that it's clear I explain it better but in the exam actually you know that 90 mangoes you make a profit of 145 for 58 mangoes what is the profit that you make I mean for 58 uh, for 58 rupees profit how many mangoes should he sell that is 36 yes so all of you have uh, given me the answer correctly I hope it is clear uh, generally whenever such questions come right where you are uh, buying at a rate uh, of for so many mangoes and selling at a rate and the number is different always try to take this LCM like this and bring it to a common number so that it's easier to calculate.